Huh? Just a box. Get out of the way! All right, how's it going, guys? Did you enjoy that rendition of of the music from the game that we're actually not playing tonight <laughs> on floppy drives? It's pretty good. That that channel is actually really interesting. He does a lot of game themes on different floppy drives. It's very unique. How's it going, Hello Wolf? How's it going, everyone? How's it going? Uh, Thefreen, Fnord, Freerida, Minty. Oini Musha, Dark Holder, uh, Jay Haxter, Ursul, Hello Wolf. I think I got everyone. How's it going, guys? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Thursday so far. Um, those of you who who thought to check the game title underneath the the screen, underneath the stream, may have realized that we're not actually playing Metal Gear tonight. We're, we're playing a game with a snake in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Metal Gear. It's a cute game that is apparently difficult. I heard, I didn't hear anything about this game being difficult, but it looked really cute. It looks super cute. So I wanted to play it, and I also wanted to debate everyone into thinking I was playing Metal Gear. Um, so we're gonna do that because it looks like fun. Aeon, how's it going? <laughs> I actually. I actually got a few people. I was thinking of hiding the title and starting the stream in IRL and uh, just f switching it over when I started the game, but uh, apparently people just don't read the game titles. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it popped up when the when the stream uh, starts, but maybe it doesn't. Charlie! As soon as I start talking, she's like, hello, hello, I'm here. She was hiding under the bed all day, and then as soon as I hit the start stream button, she's uh, she's fixing for attention. Snake game, yes. So this looks cute. I don't know how it's gonna be. We'll see. This was an impulse buy because uh, Z had actually messaged me 
he found like a bunch of games that someone was trying to get rid of on Reddit, and I got this game for like four dollars, so I thought it would be fun to try. You've seen a short demo of this game, so the the visually it looks like um games like ukulele and uh hat and time like color wise and art style wise but it controls very differently because you can't jump you can't jump <laughs> plus i just baited so many people <laughs> it's not a lie it's not a lie at all it's just <laughs> it's just a troll nothing in it is is uh is uh a lie so I'm going to start this game up. I know you guys are really looking forward to uh, the tactical snake action. I feel like I could have done the troll better if I was aged, but I'm not aged. But hopefully I troll him. This has music by the Donkey Kong Country Composer? That's awesome. That's awesome. That's exciting. Hopefully it'll have some good music. I'll, uh, I'll bump, up, bump up the music a bit. All right, let me switch the screen. Yep. Do this. Boop. It's weird streaming with the web camera after the last stream without a web camera. I gotta be conscious. I can't like, can't be like, touching my face all the time, <laughs> making making like dumb derp faces because <laughs> people will actually see it now. Streaming without a webcam is is nice. Charlie, what you want, hun? What's up? What up, Charlie? She jumping. This was one of the Humble Bundle monthly games a couple of months ago? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I had no idea that it even was a game until I saw it on this person's game list and I looked it up because it sounded derpy. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't usually stream this type of game. It's not really a platformer, but that's like the closest comparison that I can come to for it. it can it be called a platformer if you can't jump? You kind of just, like, Slither through the levels. Oh my god, no, D no DK rap. Maybe we can have a snick. Snick rap. Oh, this music's so so cute and tropical. Oop. Alright, I think I have it all set up. The controls are real weird. So you move with the, the freaking uh, triggers. And there's easy mode controls? I don't know what this does. Every button is grip, apparently. <laughs> it changes your mood. Oh. Oh, it changes the move forward to the stick? What? Why is that easier? What, I've never seen a game that has easy controls. Like, the controls typically aren't what factors into the difficulty. <laughs> yeah, Unreal it has some issues with optimization, especially with, um, with AMD cards. I had to mess around with some stuff before I started the stream because I was only getting like 30 FPS on the stream. Uh, cause it was maxing out my graphics card. I have an RX 480 and this, this Snake Pass was maxing out my graphics card. Solely because it uses the, uh, the Unreal Engine. Yeah, maybe a puzzle game? Is an action puzzler a thing? Alright, we gotta start here. Para Paradise Path! This is definitely just a cute children's game. It's not gonna be difficult. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Paradise Path. I can't imagine this game having a plot. Oh my god, his name is Noodle! <laughs> they really named the snake Noodle. Danger Noodle. We get an annoying bird friend. Something's wrong! Oh my god! It's so cute! Look at his dumb face. Alright, what do we do? What do we do? Oh god, oh god, the controls! <laughs> They're so weird. Use- I like- I like any game where the directions are use the control stick to snake around. Oh, can we say hi to the ladybug? Go! Oh, he grabbed my tail. This is the one you were thinking of? Yeah, I, I, uh, I saw some other people had had uh, clips of it on Twitch because I, I looked a little bit before I streamed to see if anyone had even really streamed much of this. I think Lyric played it and a couple of the bigger streamers. Bird friend is important. 
So he picks me up, but I'm not quite sure. He probably... So if it's physics-based, he probably kind of... Like, changes your center of gravity. Prevents you from falling sometimes. The snake seems kind of top-heavy. He just kind of goes wherever his head goes. Is this a checkpoint? What is this thing? Crucifix, how's it going? I just started my stream like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> don't tell me the viewer count. I don't care. I don't care. People are- whoever's not here is, is missing out on hot snake action. This is the quality content that Twitch viewers want, especially when your audience consists of Bloodborne fans and Darkest Dungeon fans. <laughs> what? I didn't read it! I wasn't reading. Hopefully it wasn't important. Oh my god. Oh shit, stairs. What do I do now? <laughs> Can snakes actually get upstairs? Lift your head by holding A. Oh. 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 <laughs> this, this is how you climb as a snake. <laughs> Just ugh. <laughs> Dumb fuck, tilt your face to the sky. I just imagine like his his head just like having this stupid derpy music playing. Like he he can hear the background music and he's he's jamming to it. Snake, how's it going, Q? Is this Bloodborne? Yes, this is uh the origin story of the Shadows of Yarnum. The early years before they became uh, horrible ring wraiths. How's the music, guys? Can you hear it? Because it's really good. Look at him go! No, get up! Oh, you can also- I was messing around before this stream. You can also change his facial expression, because that's very important. Look at this. You can make him ultra derpy, ultra happy. You can make him kind of- kind of contemplative. You can, I don't know what that face is. What- what- <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> what would you say that expression is? Kinda looks like he has to poop or something. Ugh. And then that face is, uh, disgust? Fear? I like this one. Can we keep this as our default face and just look really freaking excited about life as a snake? Snakes can get in all places. They got mad skills. Oh! oh I didn't mean to do that. I had the bird pick it up. Oh shit, a puzzle. Oh shit, what up? Keystone. Oh, we gotta lift that thing? What are the arms? Is he supposed to pick it up in his mouth? <laughs> Who says we can't like hunting beasts and cute snakes? I, I shouldn't. I should not. Uh, should not belittle my audience like that. Thinking they can only like one type of game, but it. I, I, I tend to gonna play a certain type of game that attracts a certain type of audience that's very uh, interested in watching people play games where you fail and die a lot and I don't know if this game fits that yet. It's pretty cute. Taka! How's it going Taka? Good to see ya. Yeah, this, this game's adorable. This makes me so happy. Can I eat the beetle? Nope. So I guess you just gotta get the pink thing, but like, what are- can I get something from all these bubbles? I'm just missing one bubble. Where'd the bubble? This beetle does not like me. It's just chilling, and I'm getting in his face. Alright, let's get this thing. That's what it- what it wants us to do. You're about to say that I'm about the Shadows of Yarnum? <laughs> Man, I'd much prefer if the Shadows of Yarnum were like this. They tilt me so hard. We need a couple more snakes, though. We need at least two more snakes. Alright, we got it. What do we do with it? Da-da-da! Okay, it just goes in our inventory. Don't take it. <laughs> I'm good, Q. How about you? Oh, no, you, you said you're doing good. I should read. I should read, chat. I am doing good. I'm happy to be uh -huh. playing it. Playing a game that isn't dark and depressing for a little bit. <laughs> this is cool. Hello. 
Hello, Sorman. How's it going? Age is getting trolled yet. If he if he shows up, let's see. I don't know what he's doing tonight. But that was the intention. It was just a big uh, big troll for Age. And anyone else who's been dying to see Metal Gear. Do I trust this? I just... Okay. All right. How do I... G What's it? What'd it do? Oh! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Snake teleporter? I missed a bubble! No, I got it. S X. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this game is delightful. <laughs> oh, no. Eat the bird! No, not in my children's game, Crucifix. <laughs> this is the next evolution after you became a slug at the end of Bloodborne. You shedded your old skin. <laughs> oh no, we're we're an infant great one. Infant great snake. I don't I think this game came out in 2017. I think it may have originally been an Xbox game. I really should have looked up anything about this game before I decided to play it, but it looked cute and that's that was my sole motivation was cute game and trolling people who wanted to see Metal Gear. You did hear Metal Gear, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it, but this is the closest to, to a game with a snake in it that I'm gonna be playing for a little bit. And Bloodborne. Bloodborne's got some snakes. Okay, all right, something here doesn't feel quite right. I feel like I'm gonna get like, gonna turn into a horror game or something. You know those games that start off really cute and then things just get really creepy paced at you? I don't think this this is that type of game, but I'm, I'm so paranoid now when I play games. So I've played a few like that. Like Pony Island. Pony Island is a good game. You you want to play that type of game? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Is it creepy pasta or creepy pasta? How it didn't pick up that Metal Gear? Is my body even working? Why is it pasta? Pasta makes so much more sense. Because pasta, like, you're copying and pasting it and propagating it throughout the internet, but pasta is just delicious. Can I snake up here? Here I go, here I go, here I, here I, here I go. Oh! This is a coin. Let's find out if we can die. So Bird just kind of- oh. What happens if I fall while Bird is holding me? Is he kind of- can he- can he like spot me? Whoa! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> no he can't! No! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I thought he could carry me but I'm too fat. <laughs> I thought he got me. I thought wrong. I keep wanting to, to press that to have him, uh, the button for his head to stick up and the button for the bird to carry him are like reversed in my brain. The color reminds you of Viva Pinata? Yeah, I could, see, I could definitely see that. I, I wonder if the team had anything to do with it. I was thinking ukulele too, or kind of the newer uh, platformers that were inspired by the ones from the 90s like Banjo-Kazooie, like a hat in time, those type of games. Stop. Stop, bird. Alright, I got grip. I got grip. Nope. There we go. We're doing it. <laughs> I do like the, the, the kind of mechanic to this, that you can't jump. It does make you kind of think a little bit differently on how to maneuver throughout the level. It's probably going to get really frustrating sometimes. I don't know if the vines are supposed to indicate you can climb up them or if they're just decorative. Right, there's nothing up here. We're just, we just climbing. Pasta is delicious. Looks like we need to head up here. Thank you. I'm making my way there. Wrap yourself around the bit. Bird is like not paying attention. I'm over here just freaking like whoa, winding around the bamboo for 20 minutes. He's like over here. Climb this bamboo. I like the ambient hissing noises, it's it's, uh, it's endearing. No, I got this, I don't need your help. I'm a strong independent snake, you don't need no bird. 
I don't even know what you do. Stop! Stop trying to get me to eat the bird! <laughs> the bird has a look on its face like, why can't this dumbass pick up pick up his own don't tell it's hard being a snake, okay? It's hard. It's hard moving without limbs. They're just kinda like one big muscle, right? How does this, how do snake work? Definitely not like this. This one's got like noodle physics to it. Why'd Jay Hexter get timed out? What do you, what do you say? Was it a bad joke? Yeah. Or was that the eat the bird? I have no no memory for what people just said. Does an achievement on Steam for this game complete every level without dying? Only 0.5% of people have it? Not, you know, I don't know if that means it's a tough game or just people... People aren't committed to Snake Pass. Like, they don't have the motivation to go get all the achievements for Snake Pass for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know how difficult it is, but we're gonna find out. Yeah. Pretty much every game is difficult for me, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit difficult. I've had trouble with children's games before. Sometimes children's games are more difficult than... <laughs> than games that aren't for kids. Is there anything else in here? Ooh, look at this secret tunnel! Oh shit. Is this a checkpoint? Oh no! All of the keystones. All right, we gotta go on a fetch quest. It's nice of them to d design this, uh, this snake obstacle course for us to navigate to reach all the things that they scattered throughout the level. Yeah. <laughs> Instigating bird murder. <laughs> it's a terrible offense. Birds are birds are so innocent. What they do to you, other than chirp it at five in the morning and wake you up. Can I can I get like a boost on my snake? Can I get snake nitro? I'm go going kind of slow. Still trying to figure out how to use the bird right. Can I swim? Can snakes swim? Oh, they can! I'm a freaking... What's what's the snake that swims in the water? There's some snakes that swim in the water. Can I drown? <laughs> I can't change my facial expression while I'm, I'm swimming. Zero out of ten. I want to make a derp face underwater. I'll try to drown the snake. They made Little Big Planet 3, Forza, Forza Motors, Motorsport, Dead Island 2, and none of those games outside of Little Big Planet sound anything like this one. That is bizarre. Like, they made all these, these Dude Bro games and, uh, and this cutesy, cutesy snake game. Did I see the yellow one? I'm not really a completionist, so I probably shouldn't try to get all the bubbles. Why am I going so slow? Wrap around and climb. Okay. Think I can handle it? I don't know. Here we here here we go. Here we go, we're doing it. Oh yeah. I can't reach! There we go. <laughs> This game, this is so dumb. The physics are so good. I'm like flying. I feel like this is like Octodad if he didn't have any legs. That's this game. Some games have achievements as simple as boot up the game for the first time, and like only 80% of people have earned it. Yeah, those are the uh, the Steam sale games that people just buy and then they just gather virtual dust in their library for years. There's some some neat achievements in games that uh, are kind of unique. Like there's a lot of lame achievements that you don't really have to put any effort into. But there's some like uh, with the uh, the one that comes to mind is Journey. There's an achievement you get for meditating with another player for I think it's like two minutes or something like like a period of time that 
would be difficult for you to get another random player that you can barely communicate with who just got summoned into your game to sit and not do anything in <laughs> it. Stuff like that's kind of cool. It's kind of outside the box as far as achievements go, which are usually like, kill this many dudes! Use this weapon and kill many this many dudes, or that type of thing. What's this face? Alright, where are the other ones? I gotta explore. But I can't see because I'm so short. Like, on the ground. I feel like I run out of snake speed. I just stop. Stop moving. Fast. I'm like a snail. Because I'm going, I'm going against the, the arrows? Do I have to grip? I don't understand how a snake would grip, but you have a button to grip. Does he just like clench his abs really hard? Like his little snake abs? Oh, this is the green one. And the pink one. that gap. Get a grip! Alright, I'll try to get a grip. My controller vibrates when I do for some reason. Do I need to grip? I'm not even quite sure what to do. I feel like I'm doing better without the grip. I'm just kind of twirling. Crackdown 3 is never coming out. I don't even know what the other Crackdown games were. What type of game is Crackdown? I don't know what you get for collecting all the bubbles. Because I think you have infinity lives, so it's not like it gives you another life. You get an achievement, probably. Alright, I'm going super slow. I'm really confused why I'm going so slow. I got a, sli I got a slither? Can't just go straight. There we go. Got a boost. Snake can't just crawl straight, I guess. Hold on tight and wrap her. Oh, okay, I did that. Alright, I got it. You can do it! You can do it! Do a chin up! Oh. Back into it! Got it. <laughs> now how do I get back? I don't remember. Is there a big shining beacon? Neon beacon saying go this way? I hope to god there is. Oh, okay, there it is. Someone asked in a stream earlier how you could have the Yarnum Sunrise achievement but not the achievement for defeating Garmin? It's because you don't get the achievement if- oh, yeah, yeah. You can actually game those achievements by like kind of uh, uploading your save file so you can get all three endings or however many endings in one playthrough. I think that's what I ended up doing even though I finished- like, I have done several playthroughs. Yeah, exactly, hello wolf. Because if they're- if they're too uh... Like, if they're just too built into the structure of the game, and it's something you do anyway playing the game, what's the point of making it an achievement? It's just like, you've progressed this far in the game, good job, and if it's not a hard game, then what's the big deal? <laughs> like, why do you need an achievement? It's just that dopamine rush, I guess. People get a little pop-up saying, oh, you did the thing! Good job, you played a game. Paradox. Grand strategy games have a lot of interesting achievements, like what? Exactly, Bethany, the participation trophies. That's a good way of putting it. Awesome. The gold star, you get the little ribbon that says you, you did the thing. Corona, how's it going? Long time to see, how you doing? How's your summer going? Stellaris? I keep seeing Stellaris on sale. AI uprisings and, and cosmic deities lurking in black holes? Really? It didn't look that involved from what I saw of it on Steam. It has stuff like that in it. A lot of space games kind of advertise stuff like that. Like 
creepy monsters hiding in the hiding in the the shadows, the recesses of space, and then uh, they don't really deliver. Oh shit! It's getting dark. Where'd my color go? We turn it into a creepy pasta. I knew it. I called it. Oh no, it's back. Just kidding. False alarm. <laughs> no, what a douche. I just want to be a snake and this this dude's running around just locking all the doors. Just playing a prank on me. Excuse me. Six bubbles missed unfollowed. <laughs> Unsubscribed. Unfollowed. Unfriended on all the things. Never talking to me again. I just don't know the point of getting all the bubbles. Give me, give me a point to get in the mother than a steam achievement to boost my EP and telling people I got all the bubbles in Snake Pass. That's something I can put on my resume. Put that in my CV. Got it. Grip, just the grip. Wiggle, wiggle harder. Nope. <laughs> get up. <laughs> I'm stuck. I gotta, I gotta wind. We gotta want there we go. Alright, apparently we can't just do a pull-up. Oh, this is too easy. It's right there. Still haven't needed to use the bird. Summer's busy, but it's winding down. No, how are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. You going back to school in the fall, uh, Corinna? Are you uh you working? I forget. If I remember correctly, you worked at a restaurant? Go, 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 go! Here we go! <laughs> ah! It's, it's just out of It's just out of reach! Damn it! Wait, wait, no, I got this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope, nope. Gotta use the grip. It's too advanced. Maybe Bird Friend can help me on this one. <laughs> Why is this one so hard? <laughs> Get it! Grip! No! Oh. Alright, we, we got the grip. We got- Nope! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, you, you can dance to music. That's all I'm gonna do the rest of the game. I've heard those kinds of you made progress achievements are meant to be metrics for the developers. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. But why did I have to make it an achievement? Like, what? why can't they just kind of keep track of that another way? I guess maybe people who complain about it. Oh, they're, the devs are tracking our information without telling us. So they hide it under, under the guise of an achievement. But yeah, that's a good point. If a bunch of people quit out before they reach a certain part, then maybe the game's boring or too difficult. Can I eat it? Nope. Snake don't eat mushrooms. All we need is some badgers and we got that meme video. We got snakes and mushrooms. I like the sign, the, the nice sign over there that's just a skull and crossbones. Like, please don't fucking try to crawl over here because you're gonna die. You're gonna die, snake. Oh, oh look a sh- <laughs> Perfectly snake-sized tube. Here we go. Like I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. Blech. All the Chuck E. Cheese is closed around here. For those like who aren't familiar with Chuck E. Cheese, because I don't think they're out of the U.S., they uh, they're like this children's arcade that had these little play places in them too, with slides and like ball pits and stuff like that, and a lot of arcade games for kids. But they all kind of closed down around here. You can boast that you're an MLG fast player. I can put that in my Twitch profile. <laughs> That's what the people want to see. We could do. You know what we could do? We could do a Snake Pass speed run. First on Twitch. No, someone's probably done that already. Oh, look a bubble. And nothing else. If I die, do I lose all the things? Do I have to collect them again? I didn't check last time. I died. And there's these coins. I wonder what the coins are good for. Should I try to get it? Last time I tried to get it, I fell to my death, and that looks like it's 
positioned in a similar, like, death trap area. It's a challenge. You're working, Corona. Okay. So the restaurant's super busy in the summer? Our bakery is dead. Like, tumbleweeds dead in the summer. Tighten your grip. I'm doing it! Stop backseating me, bird! Ugh. Can't get the hang of the grip. Sometimes it seems like it makes it harder to climb. Ugh. I guess it holds me in place so I don't fall back down. Got it. Whoa. Look at that stink batting is non-existent. Eyelashes that you- he's flirting with you, Blossom. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know- I still don't know what this face is. I think it's worried. I feel like I've, I've done this face before in my life, but I don't know what the circumstance was. I like it though. It's slightly different from this one. Can we do in between these two? Yep. Yep. Alright, we, we got this face now. We're stuck with it. We're just gonna hold it till our face is stuck that way. Oh, there's a coin just right out in the open! Who does that? Do I get an achievement for it? You got the coin. It was just sitting right there. Nice. There's a super complex quest line where, depending on your choices, you can begin to worship a Lovecraftian cosmic entity communicating to you telepathically from the future? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a strategy game. Okay. It just, it looked like just space, space game to me that I haven't really looked too much into it. Speaking of space game, have any of you guys tried No Man's Sky since the update? I've watched a little bit of people playing it and it looks like they really improved it, but still I don't know. It's really worth playing, especially for 30 bucks. Definitely not for 60. Oh, we're going now! We get the slither, we get the form. Sony and Microsoft require trophies and achievements in their games? They do? Huh. I guess because that's what the kids like. So every game has to have them out. I don't know. That's, that's weird that they would require them. Does Steam require them? People always show their age when they bring up the Badger meme. It's definitely not relevant anymore. When was it? It was like early 2000s relevant? Spectacular. I don't think I'm actually getting graded. I think they're just doing snake puns. I don't think they have any relevance to how well I did. <laughs> you keep starting Stellaris and you never get, get far in the tutorial before your head gives in. You have the dumps. Oh god, is it one of those games that just kind of info dumps you with all the game mechanics at once? It's tough. A lot of games have a really steep learning curve and if you're not like in the mood to learn all the things at once, you gotta... It almost feels like work to learn it. Daiki, how's it going? Yeah, he's the opposite. He, I, maybe he's Liquid Snake. His name's Noodle. He's my new best friend. This game is amazing. This is, this is a very chill game. It's gonna probably make me rage horribly in uh, in the near future, but so far it's good. Snake Pass world record is 33 minutes on New Game Plus. I can't imagine why this game would have New Game Plus. Maybe it makes... Maybe it streamlines it? Maybe it removes some of the collectibles? Or maybe it makes more obstacles? I really have no idea. <laughs> That's a good good question. Doesn't really seem like it would benefit from that. It's been super busy. Don't really understand how so many people have time to go to a restaurant in the middle of a weekday. <laughs> That's what I think too, Corona. Oh my god, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because there's so many like, you have people who are working age, who look physically fit, like, just come in on weekdays and just buy food and pastries and stuff. It's like, what are you doing? And it's not even like during a lunch break time. It's like at three o'clock in the afternoon or something. I try not to judge people, but I do, I do tend to think that a lot. What are you doing? Are you actually working? And if you're not working, how can you afford to buy a $3 cannoli? Should we do it? That coin's looking pretty shiny over there, but it's also over a death pit. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's a rock of <laughs> this one. Oh dear. <laughs> I can see it. Rock is so good. So good. Oh, you don't support them because of the lying. That's that's understandable. I know a lot of people aren't supporting them because of that. But I, uh, unless it's something really blatant. Lift me! Wait, lift me, burp. Thank you. Oh, oh god. All right, I've made a mess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we made a mistake. Goodbye. <laughs> I lost control of my snake. <laughs> See, how's it going? Yes, this game is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, mentioning mentioning that game game sale on Reddit to me because this is this is a lot of fun. This is well worth the the four bucks or whatever it was so far. <laughs> and the music, the music's so good, it makes me happy. They aren't required, just heavily encouraged. Oh, okay. Because the, the people people do like achievements. A lot of people do hunt a lot of achievements and go for the platinum and, and stuff, but unless it's pretty straightforward. I don't think I would ever try to get a platform platinum. Like the Bloodborne platinums, pretty easy to get as far as platinums go. There's not a lot of obscure collecting of stuff. The hardest bit is just doing all the chalices. Do I try it again? I don't know what I get for all the coins either. What's my motivation? Do I get to eat like a big juicy mouse at the end of the level? If do I just get to buy it with my five coins, trade it in at the end? I don't know. Is there a vending machine I can buy a freaking Coke? I don't. I, I don't understand the coins. Just gonna keep slithering. You have No Man's Sky and you've played it a little bit. Do you like it, Ursula? You've played it since the update. Yep. Got it. Wait. Oh, that's a coin. Oh, that one looks like a pain. The coins, the coins must give you something good. They give me like, like a snake. Snake sweater, snake cosmetic upgrades. They're in, they're in hard to get spots. New Game Plus is where the level designers finally were allowed to make the levels difficult. <laughs> Have you played this, Stagy? This is apparently not an easy game. So far, it's not too bad if you don't go for all the optional stuff, but if I were trying to get all the optional coins, it would be very difficult. Yeah, I get that, Dark Holder. I get it. But, uh, I don't know. When I get frustrated with people, like, but it's it's people coming in waves, basically. It's not just, like, one or two people trickling in in the middle of the day. It's like buses let out of people. And I always wonder where they where they all came from in the middle of the day. That isn't, like, a workplace. It's, it's confusing to me. Yeah, some people have days off, but we get people, like, mobbing in on, on the regular. Yeah. What does the bird- I really don't understand the bird. He didn't- like, he kind of gives you more control, it seems like, but not much. People needed him. <laughs> I need a parachute. Yeah, the Dark Souls ones are colder. They have a ton of collecting, and it's all the Covenant items too, right? So you have to have the the online uh, online stuff down. All right, can I get up here from here? Yes, doing it. Going up. Yeah, I, I, I lost my grip. I love the look of determination on his face. There's like shit coming off of the bamboo. <laughs> Wait, no, go! I don't even think there's anything here. This is a shortcut with a dancing beetle on the other side. I can go up there. Got stairs. Yeah, the point of the easy achievements, uh, 
like that Fran was saying, is just kind of a participation award. It's like, good job. You did the thing. You played the game. Get oh, no, 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 no. Uh, go. Can I climb the wall? There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. And it's right there. Who put all these poles in the way? <laughs> they just gotta slap them down. Also, why are there feathers around all these things? I'm assuming some sort of big, big ass bird, like the thing they showed, is just scattering them everywhere. There's like a little glimpse of it, the big shadowy thing. Some birds dicking around with us. Alright, we got one more. But where is it? Oh, it's just right there. We got it. Just gotta snake our way over here. The point of the coins is to collect them. Damn it! It's almost like it's inspired by those those uh, cherished '90s platformers with all the all the collectibles, all the useless collectibles that did nothing other than have you collect them. If you get stuck, are you snake mated? It's a good question. Just don't get stuck. Sometimes they encourage you to experience more of the game. Yeah, it is. Sometimes. It depends. Like I, like I was saying, if they're kind of creative achievements, grip. You'll grip. Fix your grip. I'm gripping the air. Alright, we gotta... This is the, the default move, is just coil. Uh, grip. 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 Nope. This is, the, this is where the game ends. This is where it gets too challenging. <laughs> it's right here. You need to get all boss weapons, etc. You need to get that, and then it's like... In, I know in Dark Souls 3 it was get like so many seals of uh, something or other. Like things that you get from defeating people in PvP. I thought. Maybe not. Oh, oh, we found it. We found a different way. You refuse to get any achievement that says kill a thousand of this enemy or open a million chests. Yeah, because it just seems like they pick an arbitrary number and have you plug away at it. Wait, I gotta focus. This is important. We're doing it. We're doing it. We just gotta believe. We just gotta get our head up over the bamboo. Yes! Wait, how do I get up? Oh god, I gotta go all the way over here. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> no! You can do it, little snake! No, fuck, no! <laughs> oh, how do I make a sad face? It's, it's just worried. I can't make sad. I just... Just that face. That's the face. Working in a restaurant, I judge people all the time, like the people who order oatmeal. Why? Or order pancakes, take three bites in there. Yeah, that makes me sad, Corona, when people waste food. But, you know, it's, uh, sometimes, like, I can understand that a little bit. Like, if it's someone who just felt sick after they started eating or had anxiety and had to leave or something. I can understand a little bit of that. But if it happens regularly, people just waste so much food in general in this country. It's kind of disgusting. Like, when I go to the supermarket and see just how much meat is there that's on, like, it's, it's last date, it's sell-by date, at the end of the day, and just goes to waste. I get sick. We waste so much food. You love oatmeal, but only order it on trips? Oatmeal is delicious. Especially with, uh, with some berries in it. Or some maple syrup. I, I'm, I'm doing it. I swear I'm doing it. Bees, how's it going? I'm doing okay, how about you? How's, how's, uh, how's the married life treating you? In the new house and stuff? I'm doing all, okay, all things considered playing this, this children's game that's kicking my ass on like the second level. <laughs> ah! Just, 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 I should use the bird. Help me, help me bird friend. I don't have enough fingers to control the bird and the, there we go. <laughs> Did he make that noise? Is that the snake? That's the snake! He's like, oh. <laughs> oh. Can you guys hear the snake noises? 
I, I should turn up the game sounds if you can't. Help me, Bert. I'm gonna time it. Can I time myself in a knot? I kind of want to help me time myself in a knot, Bird. Can I? Oh God. I think those bubbles are filled with heroin. <laughs> it's a new form. New form of heroin. All the all the cool kids are doing it. I, okay, Bird's not helping me. You gotta let go. You gotta let go, Bird. I'll do this on myself. Like I said, I'm a strong independent snake. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, is there another way? This is not happening. <laughs> no, that's the only way, and that's the last thing I need up there. God damn it, game. How's it going, vulgar vulgarities? Are you are you enjoying my suffering? This is this game's delightful, but it's it is a little it's it's, it's challenge challenge. Oh wait, there's this knob on the outside. You can use that. Just do a chin up! Fucking... Ugh. Snake has to work out more. Snape, snake skipped neck day at the gym. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. You can do it! Just believe! Oh, we're doing it. How could we fuck this up? I can't see. I can't use the camera because I got... I, my hand in this horrible- Oh, we did it! Yeah, I wish I had a- had a hand- Oh, uh oh. Oh no. I wish I had a hand camera for this game because my hand is contorted into this horrible, like, claw to play this game. But it's okay. It's the fourth level, damn it! At least someone's paying attention. Not me. Trying to survive this heat wave in Seattle. Ugh, how hot is it? How hot is it, bees? We had one here for a little bit when it was uh, like 95 every day for a week and I melted. Hopefully you get some some semblance of uh, cooling stuff, some fans or some AC or something. I'm like sweating right now. Bump this, I got my, my window AC. It's smelling a little weird though and I don't know why and it's worrying me. It doesn't smell right. All right, head for the exit. Where is it? Where is it? Berries are delicious. I like the um the frozen berries because they don't go to waste if you don't eat them all in one sitting or in a, in a few days. I get a ton of frozen berries and I just add them to everything. All right, let me checkpoint and try to use my eyes to see where we're supposed to go. There's usually a freaking snake signal, big glowing beacon. Go this way. You like oatmeal, but we literally just have the stuff that takes five minutes to make. Anyone can make it home. Baffles me why you'd pay three dollars for a bowl. I guess it's more so convenience. Like, you probably get a lot of business people who do that. And they're rushing on their way to work or something. But yeah, it is It is a, quite a, a markup on oatmeal. Oh, it's all the way down there. I think. Wait, I can't see. Everything's blurry. I need snake glasses. That bokeh. That that blur. Is it that way? Do I have a map? The fuck it the fuck is the end of the level? I don't remember. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Exactly a strong independent snake that don't need no bird. Yeah, everything about this game is, is adorable. Outside of the gameplay, which is a little... It's, it's gonna be probably a little bit frustrating at some point, but it's fun. It's unique. It's not like a typical platformer. I like when games do different stuff with mechanics. This stuff just gets so samey after a while when you play enough games. I like when games try something new, even if it's not like super well executed sometimes. Just having cool ideas can make a game stand out. But this is done. this is good so far. This is pretty polished. This is just the start of the level. That's how I feel, Snake. Also like that. Ninety degrees. It's gonna be a hundred this weekend. We have a portable AC. Thank God, because that's that's not heat anyone should have to deal with. I don't know how people live in Florida. And like uh, the deep, deep south, Texas, where it's it's 
hundred and humid and ridiculous all the time. But Seattle typically doesn't get that hot, right? I thought Seattle was pretty mild because it's so, so far north. Everything smells of fire? Did they mention that in the house listing? <laughs> house house reeks reeks of uh, reeks of smoke. Your AC literally froze and iced up the fan? How does that even happen, Dark Holder? I, I remember reading that you're not supposed to run the AC unit if it is um if it's under I think 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Because it can mess with it M with a compressor I thought it was but I've never heard of them icing up but just a window unit has anyone seen the exit I gotta deposit all these shiny rocks in the exit maybe it's over there where the freaking death sign is do I fly over there do I grow wings and fly <laughs> snake snake Man, I hope Age gets here. He might be at work late tonight. He might miss it. He might miss the, the troll. Help me. Help me. Help me. What's over there? It's a secret island, but like, I can't get over there. I need a bridge. Maybe it's something to do with these hieroglyphs. Don't lose your way. I'm lost. It's too late. Oh, a coin! It's right there in front of my dumb face. Got it. Pretty happy about that. Do, 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 do. You don't have that issue of not eating all the berries, so you eat them all at once. <laughs> They're really good for you too. Berries have a ton of uh, ton of antioxidants in them, and they're not too sugary. I've been eating a ton of cherries lately, actually. I think it's cherry season because they've been super, super cheap at the grocery store. Usually they're expensive, but they were only like three ninety nine for the organic ones for a pound. What's up there? Okay, I see it. Let me go over there. Over to the right. Stop being a snake. I can't see very high up in the air. I need to, I need a boost. This snake is your big mood. Which 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 uh which mood? Is it this mood? The happy mood? Or is it this mood? Or is it this mood? This, this is my mood. Sometimes this one. I can change his face. It's pretty fun. How does it happen? Have it set to internal research only, have another portable unit going as well, and have a high humidity- Oh jeez, so you had like the perfect storm of, uh, freeze up that AC. Conditions. Humidity, I could definitely see doing it because it causes the, the condensation, right? On the bottom of it. That sucks though, what- <laughs> So do you just- do you have to wait for it to melt or do you have to like pry the thing open and scrape the ice off? The third mood? I don't remember what that was! But I'm assuming it's one of the worried faces, or the confused faces, not the happy face. This one, maybe this one. These are pretty similar. This looks like you're worried to the right, and this looks like you're worried to the left, or that's scared, terrified maybe. And this is worried. And I don't know this one. That's a good one. I think he's pissed. <laughs> he's a little mad. Don't you guys have central air? Um, so we have central air in the house, Aeon, but, but, my room gets insanely hot, especially when I stream, compared to the rest of the house. So if we just run the window unit in my room, we don't even need to turn the central on for a lot of the summer, because the rest of the house keeps pretty cool. It's just my room, its location is, is uh, gets all the sun, so it gets really warm. Damn it, I didn't grip. Got a grip. Remember grip, we're doing it. We're doing it! No! No! Go! There we go. We did it. Um, and our electricity bill this year, using the window unit versus the central most of the time, is a third of what it is with the central running all the time. The window unit's way more efficient and uses way less electricity. It is hard out here for a steak! <laughs> Especially when I don't use my bird friend. <laughs> I refuse. Until I absolutely need him. We've done it now. The fuck is that? 
that? It's talking to me. We're tripping. Oh, I got a thing. Looks like a tic tac. Ancient tic tac. What do I do with it? All right, cool, thanks. I'll add it to my pile of useless collectibles that I don't know what to do with. Stick it in my pockets with coins. Oh my god, I got an achievement called Snakes on a Plane. P-L-A-I-N. I'm gonna uninstall the game. Time trial mode, great! Great. It's hitting 102 tomorrow, Z? Is there any end in sight? I feel like you guys are getting roasted. Everyone's getting roasted. Turn it off and wait for it to melt, and meanwhile you're melting, right? While <laughs> you're just like, please, please melt faster, AC, so I can use you again. Steak reminds you of Ka from the Jungle Book? Was that the one with the creepy hy hypnosis eyes? I remember that scene being really weird as a kid. Really creepy. Alright. This game looks pretty good for an Unreal game, and it's actually running really well now that I updated my graphics drivers before it was dropping a lot of frames when I was streaming, or testing the stream. But now it's still holding, uh, looks like steady 60. Your middle floor apartment is a heat trap, it can be 32F outside, and your apartment will be in the 60s? It gets above a hundred- oh, that's not good. The middle floor? I wonder why that is. Usually it's the top floor, like my bedroom's, uh on the top floor in the corner of the house, so it makes sense that all the heat goes there. Ooh, a hidden coin. Here we go. What could go wrong? Everything. Everything could go wrong. Pick me up, bird! No help, nope. He makes a sad sound when he falls off. He's like, why? Why? Why you let me drop, shrimpy? Why? Why you do that grip? Remember grip. No, just grip. Uh, no! No, I got it though, it's fine. Do I get to keep it? Probably not. They probably don't want you gaming the game. Yeah, it's still there. How do I grip? Pick me up, burn. Alright, grip. No. Oh my god, I got a what? It's so easy, but it's not. Can I have the bird hold me and then just kind of peek my head over there? While gripping. And just not fully go down. Like, just kind of grip. <laughs> I love, look at how focused he is on gripping. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna fucking die again. I'm not gonna let ya. Right, just take it slow. We got a coil. We got a coil. We, no, no, no! Gravity! No! Gravity's the worst! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Every game, gravity is the worst. Bujanga, how's it going? You got here in time for snake death. A lot of snake death. Literally staying at least 90 for like two more weeks? I am so zar sorry, Z. That is is not fun. That's miserable. You gotta like, you gotta make, you gotta get a bunch of ice packs and just strap them to your body when it's that temperature. You're so fucking rich. <laughs> you, what you gotta do is when you're that rich is you just gotta gamble all of the of the coins in the adventure and then just lose them all that's usually what people do 82 degrees that's not comfortable that is not comfortable i can do this i just gotta i gotta believe and i gotta i gotta wind the body right wind the fucking wind your body snake wind the body around the no <laughs> No, I just want the coin. I just want to put it in my little snake purse and take it with me. And just buy myself a nice candy. <laughs> Why can't I get it? It's right there. It's right, it's right there. Fuck. How's it going, Modog? I do need to work on my gravity. Gravity's working on me enough, but I need to, I need to <laughs> get it together. I need a parachute. Standard issue snake size parachute. That's true, at least there's no elevators, but Onimusha, don't don't tempt the game, because there may be some later. Don't tempt it. Is this a souls like this is the dark souls of uh QC children children's uh, snake snake games? Metal Gear Solid 6 is weird. 
<laughs> this is Metal Gear Solid without Kojima's involvement. They tried to make it more family friendly, to, to appeal to a wider audience, and they took out the stealth. What am I missing? Can I just crawl like straight and pick my head over the edge? No balance. I got it! No, I got fucking. Oh no, I was so close! No, I give up. I don't even need this coin, it's just there, it's bothering me. It's like two inches from the star. <laughs> Look at his face! He's so disappointed. It's like, ugh. Really? It's right there. What the fuck are you doing? Did I say hi, Ontario? How's it going, Ontario? <laughs> this is Cobra Kai. This, this isn't Cobra Kai. He's too, he's too cute. Dive deep in- oh! Underwater levels! Everyone loves those! Here we go! Underwater physics! Dive deep into the water. Here we go! What is X on a PlayStation Focus? Okay, that one. Oh look! A fish! Eat the fish! Swim up with A! Okay! Woo! We're doing it! How do I move? Whoa! Whoa! This is great! I have infinity breath! <laughs> Liquid snake! <laughs> Liquid! Liquid! Liquid is such a douche. Nearly 200 hours for Reddit! Damn! Damn. You guys got some serious, uh, some serious shrimp chips going on. I gotta do, when I hit 2,000 followers, I'm gonna do a giveaway and uh, probably have that be used for them. For entry. I'm glad I got this one bubble out of like 38. What are these? Bird, you're scaring the shit out of me! This looks like a massive bird, it's just the camera angle. There's a switch! Oh shit, what up, switch? I wonder what'll happen if you use it? That, something's twinkling. I hear twinkling. Like, really loud twinkling. Look at these snake hieroglyphs. Can I tag this thing? Going down. Blip. What is this thing? Look, it's me. It me. On the wall. You're doing alright, Bajonka? Good to hear. I had a decent day. It was unproductive. I gotta- I gotta get on that. And I gotta do more stuff on my days off. But I did some laundry. Go, 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 go. There we go. Whoa, whoa, too fast. Can land snakes swim and sea snakes walk? Probably, free rider. I would say that the sea, sea snakes can probably, oh fuck. Um can probably walk at least, because I can't imagine them staying in the water the whole time. I don't think they have gills or something to breathe underwater. Go, 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 go. Ooh. It does sound like a crystal lizard, doesn't it? <laughs> we gotta get it so we can upgrade our bird. So he can do more damage. Alright, how does a snake use the switch? We're gonna find out. We gotta, gotta, wait, oh, oh. Oh shit, oh shit, what up? Am I doing it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just sit on it, I did it! All I had to do was look happy. And just be lazy. Wait, what did it do though? I don't know what it did. Is it completed? Whatever it was doing? Oh! It's doing something. Wait, no, no, no! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I need floaties. Yeah, we gotta we gotta find a way to get it to uh lick. Potato, how's it going? Yeah, it, I, <laughs> I debated everyone <laughs> with the title. Everyone was talking about snake and metal gear last night, so I'm like, yep, I got this game that I wanted to play. Might as well kill, kill two birds with one stone and, and troll people while playing a fun game. Yeah, maybe you do have to wrap around it. Let me try. Ugh, I didn't grip. Busted, freaking busted the snake's face. 
<laughs> on the rock on the way down. He's so happy about just fracturing his whole jawbone after flopping off the bamboo. Grip, 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 grip. Bird is helping. All right. Let's try to wrap. So wrap around the the switch, like the. I don't even know how I can do that. I haven't tried to wrap uh, this direction yet. There we go. Yes. Got it. Is it timed? Please don't be timed, for the love of God. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. What is th this music? Is, is interesting. There's a little synth to it. Fuck. Go, go. That snake. <laughs> that snake is high. What makes you say that? <laughs> he's fine. This is he's totally totally normal snake. Look at the other faces he can make. He's got such a wide variety of distressed expressions. This is my default face. That snake is a spy! <laughs> that spy is a snake. Got it. Nailed it. Really pissed about having got that. Wait, can I get up that way? Let's try to climb the wall. Yes. You can do it, little buddy! Just suck it in, you can fit! Come on. Come on, camera. Oh god, look at that. Maybe I can. Oh! Help me! Help me! Help me, bird. You're my only hope. I don't think I can climb. Just, it's a straight wall. <laughs> can I slither up it? Nope. It opened a door! Why they taught me with that up there? Let's go underneath. Go! Oh, I see it. Oh, look! Bubbles! A blue tongue? Who's blue tongue? Go! Oh, down! What was the down button? There we go. This is how we drown. This is the end. He's making me claustrophobic. <laughs> He's nearly died like six six times and he can't wipe that stupid grin off his face. <laughs> That's what makes it so great. He's so happy about being freaking abused. Poor snake. He's having such a grand old time. Just having having uh no legs. Got it. I like his cheeks when he's he's underwater. He's holding his breath. Is that really all that's down here? Was that? Or is this open a new way? Go go up. Go, go going up. Oh, where am I? Also, why do they always have those islands in the distance that just have a death on them? Hobo, how's it going? You got here. You got here for snake game. The snake game that no one wanted but me. You can do it! You can do it! Get up there! How was work today, Hobo? I remember you said you had a long day today. Get up! Just don't- don't look so- I can't- I actually can't get him up. Oh, the tail. Tail stuck. Bird can't help me! Bird's like, no! I'm not going underwater! What do you- what do you want? Duck. <laughs> the bird the bird won't grab it. Uh, well This is how we die. Bird, you are useless. He's just like nope, yeah, yeah, nice try, yeah. Yeah, I'm pressing the grip button. My controller's shaking. Look at- that's- that's his I'm gripping shit face, and he's not, uh... Help! Help! Whoa! Bird just teleported. He's just not, uh... Did I break it? His tail's legit just stuck. <laughs> Thank- how, how do we go? I'm gonna try to untangle him. I think we just got stuck. The stick is a weak-ass shit! 
<laughs> so rude to noodle bees. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. My tail's legit just stuck. What the fuck? Why is this so difficult? I can't get out. <laughs> the tail's not even stuck anymore. I'm holding the grip button. There we go. Nope. Do I have to wiggle? Oh, no, I got it. This is this is actually the physics that you get out of here. This is how you have to get out of here. This is so dumb. <laughs> no! Wait, are we doing it? Oh, bit by bit. He's making it. He's doing it. Oh, up. Oh. This instantly reminded me of the old games like Tomb Raider and Half-Life ha having the water levels that make you so claustrophobic. What about the Zelda? Water Temple. That one was a nightmare. God damn it! I can't- I just legit can't move <laughs> past this point. <laughs> Gonna be longer tomorrow. Oh, that sucks, hobo. That sucks. Hope it's not, not too crazy busy. I mean, if it is a long day, hopefully it's not too strenuous. That's all you can really ask for. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I just- I'm stuck. This reminds me of playing The Last Guardian and fighting with Trico to do what I wanted him to do. How's it going, Elliot? No! <laughs> this is an innocent children's game. None of that. It's a cute and innocent game. T-shirt, how's it going? Thank you for the host. Welcome to Snake Game. Welcome to Broken Ass Physics. I got my tail stuck on a rock and I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get... What is this? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> this is just great. No pun intended. Can I get myself through the grate? I feel like he's being birthed. <laughs> Fucking do it! Get out! <laughs> you can do it! Just wiggle, just wiggle a little bit. Noel, how's it going? <laughs> you get you get you baited too. Get you baited everyone. That's what you guys get. It's wh what you get for Metal Gear. This is my revenge. It is a uh, broken ass snake physics game. I can't get out. Give up. I'm just gonna go drown now. Look pissed off. I'll try the other one one more time, then I'll just backtrack and maybe go that way. There's probably another way around. But this did unlock a uh <laughs> It unlocked a uh door. This is the door I came through, right? Or no. It's the way that I just tried to get out. It unlocked a door, so I'm assuming I had to go through it. Yeah, this is the door I came through. So I must have to progress this way. You've never played any of the Zeldas other than the NES one? Really? Really? You're missing out. Ocarina's really good. Majora's Mask is one of my favorites too, but I think Ocarina's more kind of widely, widely praised. This is the sequel to The Last Guardian? Yo, I, I don't care what people have to say about The Last Guardian. I love that game. That was an emotionally touching game. Even though the mechanics kind of were absolute garbage at times. What is this camera? What am I looking at? Is this snake ass? Am I inside the snake? Like what, the cross section of the snake? Let's try this again. It went so well the first time. I'm actually a little bit pissed off that I can't reach this checkpoint that is uh, millimeters. There we go. So now if I die, can I just teleport up there? Can I find a way to kill myself so I can get out? I just <laughs> physically incapable of getting out of this tiny pit, even when I'm using the grip button. Look at how happy he is. I hit the checkpoint, yeah. But how do I kill myself so I can be teleported? This bird is just taunting me. 
It's not revenge until eight shows up and berates your skill level. I'm hoping he'll show up. I don't know if he has work late tonight, but my intention was mostly to troll him. Get out the water and fall. The a genius. We gotta go fall off a cliff. I like it. I'm really good at doing that. Yeah. Let me try. Let me try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time and I'll kill myself. I'm gonna try like releasing the grip button while I'm doing the move forward one. There we go. Damn. Is this the controls? I'm really used to them. Wait, now I'm gonna fall down here and have to go back up. <laughs> I'm happy Asia's is in here now. <laughs> the grip control's we really weird to me. Cause like when you're holding it down, you can't move forward sometimes and other times you can. I can't figure out what the, uh, what, what the, uh, trigger is. Oh no, I'm gonna fall! I'm trying to get up there. I don't even know if there's anything up there. <laughs> You're seeing the snakes? <laughs> Soul? <laughs> you haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, Darkholder? Honestly, as far as Zeldas go, that's the least intriguing to me. I fucked up. Pick me up. Thank you, friend. You did something worthwhile. There's just so many different movement buttons. There's the tilt your head forward movement button so you can go upwards. There's the move forward button. There's the grip button. There's the camera button. There's the lift your tail button. A lot of work being a snake. But we did it. This water lo looks kind of gross. The bird just kind of re-centers like centers your center of mass or something. So if he's holding up your tail, you're less likely to be top heavy and fall straight forward. That's what I got out of that. Snake leg bath. Look him go. So fresh, so clean. Look at the crab. Holy fuck, that's cute. Oh. Wait, be my friend? Look at, look at how happy I am to be in your presence. Okay, he don't like me. <laughs> Keep going. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll uh, show his face again. What are you doing? You can count this as Metal Gear Solid 2 and go straight to Metal Gear Solid 3. If I ever do play the games, I probably would skip two at this rate just because the likelihood of me playing any of them is so low that I might as well play the one that's kind of the best one from what most people say. Uh oh, are we bowling? How could this go wrong? Where's it going? Uh oh. Nice. I guess that was the puzzle? I got an achievement called Hole in One? For just doing what the game wanted me to do? I like it when that happens. Useless achievements. Your switch has collected dust. You had lent it to your collegiate daughter to use, which never did, so now it's sitting in a box in a corner. I feel like the switch is good if you commute a lot or you're kind of out and about a lot because the portability is really cool. But outside of that, I don't know, as a home console, how uh, how good it is with the lineup of games. I guess it's good if you like a ton of JRPGs. 80 hour JRPGs. You might almost say this is a modern video game. A modern video game in my channel? Ugh. How am I gonna make that gap? You can do it. Just go. Just go. Just. Ugh. We did it. 
There we go. This is really cool though, I like this a lot. Just mechanically it's a lot of fun. It's very creative. Even if it is kind of just grab the three things that open the door for the most part. I feel like we're still kind of in the tutorial section. Soxman, how's it going? It's not Metal Gear. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. This is an adorable game that happens to have a snake in it. And cute little crab, look at him! Look at him dancing on the other side of the water. This game is delightful. This is, this is a heartwarming game. Unlike Metal Gear, which is just salt. At least for me. Odd numbered Metal Gear games are all you need? Five even? Five looks pretty fun, honestly, as, as much as people kind of pan it just because it's so open world, sandboxy, seems like you can do a bunch of clowny stuff. You didn't have to hit the ball twice? Wait, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. Forgot you didn't have to pay for your Stark Holder. There's that twinkling again. But yeah, it's not a huge loss if you didn't have to, <laughs> didn't have to waste any money on it. Worst, worst that happens is it gathers dust until something cool comes out. But you don't have any interest in like Mario Odyssey or any of those? I'm waiting to see what they do with uh, whatever their equivalent of the virtual console is for it because they just... Nintendo just, uh... set out a big... Oh no. Oh no. Nintendo just filed uh, some sort of suit against the ROM sites that have the uh, Nintendo ROMs on them, so I'm assuming they're trying to put a lot of stuff onto the Switch. I made it! I did. I don't know how, but I did. <laughs> Does this have a plot? Um, so far what I can discern is there's some big shadowy bird dude who is just trying to be an asshole and stop our progression throughout the levels. And he's scattering these little uh, crystals, colorful crystals that we have to collect um, to impede our progress. That's all I've got. <laughs> I, don't think there's, I think it's just a puzzle game. I don't, I don't think it's really anything plot heavy. Rick! There we go. Man! Oh! Oh! Okay, let me try to get Bird to help me. I feel like sometimes he just, he really makes it worse. Ties me in a knot. There we go. Oh! oh. Amazing. Oh. All right, we did it. Now what? I have to curl around this? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3 has problems that people don't like to admit exist, like the food cam a menu system being clunky and not fun, but honestly, I, I expect that from Metal Gear games, because that's how the first one was, it was just clunky. The menus were clunky. They take you out of it because they pause you every time you switch a weapon and stuff. That's fine. I know, everything's chill. The music's super chill. Is the music loud enough for you guys? I think I asked that earlier, but I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone answered. It's good music. You found Mario Odyssey dull? Oh yeah, Axiom Verge is really good. That's definitely a good pickup for that. You can see that being fun portable. I gotta pull this. No, oh shit. Nintendo protecting their IP? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just, I kind of, uh, assumed it might have something to do with, um... Oh, this is how you do this, I guess. With them potentially releasing whatever the virtual console is for the Switch. There isn't some, there isn't a virtual console equivalent for it yet, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How do I get up there? Scare all the crab. You might pick this up for your little girl. It looks great. Have you been trying to ride the ponies with a great sword? Oh my god. 
<laughs> yeah, Dark Souls might be a little too intense. Although, uh, Free Rider, she's isn't she only like three? She's pretty young. This might be hard for her to control. Because it's got a lot of different buttons you get a hold at once. It's very cute, but it's, it's, uh, the control scheme is very weird. This is Bongo. A rain pitter on, pittering on it. I play the drums. They call me Dr. Worm. Good morning. How are you? I'm Dr. Worm. Dr. Noodle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, that's not working. It opened something and I wasn't paying attention. Moral of the story is pay attention. No! No! Did it checkpoint after I turned the switch? Yes, it did. It did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, audio levels are okay. <laughs> yeah, you can look past the clunkiness. I agree, Animisha. If the game's good enough. Metal Gear Solid 3 probably has the most side st stuff to it. I would probably just play through the story, the main story. You get access to a couple old games for paying for a Nintendo Online service for 20 bucks a year, but it's not a virtual console. That's it. I feel like they're missing a lot. Help. I feel like they're missing a lot of potential. I, I guess I just succumb to my fate, because I can't get back up. Goodbye, cruel world. Help me. <laughs> I like how the bird just lets you go after a little bit. He's like, you're not taking me down with you. You can go die on your own. <laughs> what are you interested in? What did I say? What did I say? Is it under here? No, I can't. This isn't it. This is where I was before. What did I unlock? What'd I miss? I look away for two seconds and I miss the way to progress through the level. Oh, it's up there. I think. There was a store launch kit for the Bloodborne card game that had a lot of neat stuff in it, but you waited too long to buy it. Oh, whoa. 110 bucks for a card game? Wait, did I say hi to Dab? I saw Dab stop in and I registered mentally that Dab was here, but I'm like losing my shit. Hi, Dab, if I didn't say hi. The chat scrolled up too fast and like I can't... In this game, I can't alt-tab to re-scroll up the chat because it just stops the game. Go underwater. Okay. Whip. Can I fit under there? Ah. Oh shit, what up? Oh god! So claustrophobic! There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention. The good thing though, Dark Holder, is uh, tabletop sim is a thing. So you, you don't actually have to pay that much money. Bird is, is clearly a lot smarter than Snake, who is just randomly wandering around the levels, collecting bubbles for no reason. Get on the bamboo. Got it. Wow. So now we need the green one. Nope. Oh, we got them all. I don't remember getting the... Oh, that was the one that was just where we were. Okay. So it's right there. Whoa. This game's so chill, aside from the moments when it isn't. I still want to try to fly over there. Somehow. There's gotta be something over there. <laughs> gotcha, age! Gotcha! I done gotcha! <laughs> I was waiting for you! I was waiting for you, Age! I was waiting for ya! You done got debated. 
This is the, clearly the superior snake game. It's delightful. It's got a bumpin' soundtrack. It's got tactical snake action. And it was four dollars. Thanks to Z. <laughs> How you doing, Age? You just get home from work? What a thrill. Age, you missed it. I played the uh, the Metal Gear Solid encounter music to open the stream, but on floppy drives. Beam me up. Beam me up. I got not many, not many bubbles. Super slithering! Great. I'm not good at collecting stuff. <laughs> Zero coins. Like eight bubbles. Nothing. Wrap around things to get more grip when climbing. Age, look what I can do with the snake. Look at his face. You can, you can make him really happy. Like that. Like, that's a good face. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. Or you can look pissed. This is, this is Age's face right now, after realizing we're not playing Metal Gear. Fucking playing the stupid fucking children's snake game. Where's my solid snake? Where's my tactical espionage action? You collected a lot of coins yet. <laughs> One big coin that is missing in action. I don't know why that coin was so huge, but it disappeared. It's gone for now. Oh, look, death spikes. This game got real. You can't just fall without consequence. You're gonna get impaled. and shit. Uh, there's a checkpoint. There's like a freaking snake jungle gym over there. If I get over there. That looks like it's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> that one in the distance. <laughs> if you can't lecture people about games you've already played, What's the point of watching? That's a good point. What, why, why even watch Twitch if you can't just relentlessly backseat people and berate their, their skill at a game? Even when it's a game you haven't played yourself, that's the next level. Uh-oh. That was gonna drag me with it. It's getting real now. Things are spinning. In hardcore mode? Is that a titty? What? Is what a titty? This is a snake. I prefer the happy face. It makes me happy. It's just dumb fuck face as he's like dropping to his death. Oh, this one's easy. This is too easy. This bird wasn't even trying. See, there's bird feathers under it. There's some sort of large bird that's kind of scattering them throughout the level. Maybe it's my bird friend just being an asshole. Maybe he just he's just lonely and he just wants to spend time with me having adventures and he just scatters the stupid cubes to get in my way, to block my progress. I got more important snake things to do. just needed a detox from all the shadows and evil of Bloodborne. I looked at my- so what I did was I looked at uh, the games that I've streamed over the past month and 90% of it is Darkest Dungeon and Bloodborne. So I'm like, what is the polar opposite of that? And that's probably this game. Just thematically, color-wise, music-wise. Overall vibe. This is probably the opposite of those. Uh-oh. But there's a lot of death. The void. Void is the void. Look what he can do. Look what he can do to my tail and look at how happy I am. 
He's just picking up my fat ass. Uh, uh. The snake makes really good noises, too. Yeah, it's a hummingbird, I think. It's like flitting about like one. The snake really has that- I smoke so uh. good. <laughs> smoke so good weed face. He does. Holy shit, he does. The vape nation snake. I mean, he's gotta be pretty high to be just freaking wandering around this level, picking up colorful cubes. And just falling to his death over and over again. Is this related? I can't click at age because it pauses the game. It like alt tabs the game. I'm sorry. It sucks because when chat scrolls too high, I can't go back <laughs> to. Boom. I think it would be funnier if the snake had that face and didn't blink. That's true. That's true, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> it's like so excited. Just to be alive. Just to be a snake. Oh, oh fuck, there's a snake slide up there. Holy shit, I gotta get I gotta get on that. Hold on. How do I get there? You see that? You see that shit? I gotta get over there. I gotta find find my way over there. That's my one goal. I guess we gotta go underneath. Samus, how's it going? <laughs> this is the Bloodborne spinoff game depicting- That's what I said earlier! <laughs> That's what I said earlier. <laughs> Before they were all horribly depressed and edgy ring wraith wannabes. You know, they, they were they were cheerful, and then when they fell to their death from gravity a few too many times, they uh, they they turned over a new leaf. They decided to become murderous and vengeful. But how you doing tonight, Samus? This, this game is, is a lot of fun. It's very chill and, and comical at the same time because of dumb physics. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Wait, no, you can do it, you can do it. There we go, nope. We gripping. And it is really unique. I can't think of any game quite like this, like mechanics-wise. <laughs> you can do it, little buddy. Got him. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do here? I'm gonna get crushed to death. This is how it all ends. This is where our little snake spine gets snapped. Is there a game where you are wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man? There was a boss in that game. Sounds like El Shaddai. That looks like that. But you couldn't play as him. You're melting too? I'm sorry, Samus. Everyone's melting in Europe at the moment. I'm sorry. You guys, you gotta get fans. Or you gotta strap ice packs to your body. It's the only way. How's it going, daydreams? What are you talking about? What? Yeah, this game's really pretty. I'm surprised it's running so well because it's Unreal Engine. I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Wait, no. No, we can do it. Just patience. Just help me bird. 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 Help me. No! Damn it. At least it's not a pit. They were kind of teasing that with some spikes in the other area of the level. This is gonna be rough. So I gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> Can't think of anything quite like this. It's like, I was saying earlier, it's like if Octodad was a snake. That's how the physics feel like. What are you talking about, John Cena? Daydreams. <laughs> what? Give you the melting? You're freezing? I would take the freezing. Any day. Underwater spikes, the worst. Alright, there's gotta be a trick to this. I think there's two ways we can go these on the left. Try to game it. Don't even go for the middle. 
Oh. Oh, we're doing it. Help me, bird. Help me, bird. Bird won't help me. Why won't bird help? <laughs> help. There we go. Bird's just watching like, what are you doing, bud? There we go. Just don't even do the middle. Just go on the side. Just use brain. Oh, there's a hole. Alright, so we gotta get this ball over there. Somehow. How much does this game cost? Um, 20 bucks, I think? New? But it is in, in uh... I think it's currently on sale in the Humble Store, where it was recently. For like seven bucks. the devs making the games on it that do a poor job of optimization. Yeah, but I mean, it, the, the point still stands. <laughs> you can still be surprised at it r running well with the uh, with UE just because of how many devs fuck it up. But yeah, I can I can see why like if the de if you're a dev who does a good job with it, that being irritating. It's just most of the games that I've played with UE don't work very well with my graphics card. They drop a lot of frames, but this one works really well. Like, they max my graphics card for some reason. Unless I do specific stuff. What is Snake, Rattle, and Roll? <laughs> Why is everyone crazy over No Man's Sky? Because they it's basically a whole new game, Daydreams. They added a huge uh, expansion to it with multiplayer and stuff, and it's supposedly very close to what it was intended to be on its original release. I don't know if that means it's any good, but it's definitely uh, better than what it was. All right, Snake, you gotta get it to get- oh! Wait a minute. Wait, no. Yep. Oh, I like the music. It's not- it, it not- it doesn't stick out very much, but it, I feel like it fits the world. Very well. All right, we, we almost got it. Just don't fall down the hole. There we go. Just had to put a little spin on it with the tail. God damn it, it's like right there. It's like playing mini golf. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Yeah, I heard about that Dark Holder, that uh, Nvidia offering perks to devs, which is kind of really depressing as someone who really likes AMD. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, just uh, by virtue of having an AMD card, you get screwed over sometimes with games not working as well. That makes me a little bit sad. Whoa. 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 NES game, you're a snake, you wander around and fight things. How do you fight things as a snake? <laughs> you squeeze them? You spit at them? You bite them? <laughs> For what? <laughs> if you, you get it if it's in a humble bottle bundle, but not for th yeah, thirty is is steep. I would buy, pay maybe like ten bucks for No Man's Sky at this point, just because I'm not super interested in it. What is this nightmare? Who does this? <laughs> you would even pirate it, yeah, because you you don't want to play it because of the uh. The devs, so the money doesn't matter in that case. Oh, it's a rare game? Huh. Yeah, I never heard of it for the NES. I didn't play a lot of NES games as a kid. Mostly just, uh... Just some random stuff that we got at Funko Land. For cheap, like 50 cents a game that it was questionable if it was gonna work most of the time. This is gonna end in death very quickly. That's why they put that checkpoint two inches from the puzzle. The obstacle course. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm gonna have the bird help me. He's so happy! He's so happy! To be two inches from death. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we gripping. We doing it. No! No! Oh, Jesus! Get shish kebabbed. 
You missed the original Snake game where you just ran around eating apples on a 2D screen and your tail would grow and you had to not run into yourself. Oh yeah, I had that on a cell phone. Really old cell phone. Is that even still a thing that people play? I know there's Slither.io. It's kind of... It's, it's actually a different concept. You like try to run into the other snakes, the smaller snakes, and eat them, I think. Uh-oh. Oh god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Plenty of games forever in video owners, so it evens out. I guess that's fair. That makes sense. Everyone gets screwed over in the end. I just would like it to not be the games that I want to play that I get screwed over on. <laughs> and, and a few of them have been pretty choppy. The Forest actually was one of them. The Forest did not run very well on my graphics card. It pretty much maxed it. Who's Flit and Ka? What, what movie are they from? I must have missed that one. Oh, I have no problems with the processor. The MD processor is great. It's the, uh, it's the graphics card that has all my issues. Soul Dark, how's it going? I never said it was Metal Gear. I never once said it was Metal Gear. People just read into things too much. <laughs> this is a delightful game. This is some tactic. This is the tactical snake a action that people didn't know they needed. Do I have to survive? and get back to get it. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, we doing it, we doing it, we're doing great. There we go, we got this. And we get to go down the slide as a reward. So excited. Look at how, let's look at how excited he is as he goes down this. <laughs> how could this, if anyone plays this game and doesn't smile, they're dead inside. Like absolutely dead inside. No, fuck. my game face on <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I guess people also imagine seeing Solid Snake in the title. It's a play on words, Oinimusha. It's solid as in like quality, quality snake action. It's just a play on words that people, people run it, they just read too much into it. <laughs> Thank you, H. <laughs> How does one control this? Badly. Um, so, so let me see if I can show you the horrible claw that my hand is contorting into to play this game. This is to move the snake forward, is this bumper. X is to tilt your head up. R uh, L2 is to grip. And triangle is to have your bird friend pick up your tail. You, your hand has to contort into this horrible claw to play it. Oh, from the jungle book! And you know the bad thing about it, Samus, is Soren had mentioned Ka earlier and I already forgot the name. That's bad. But no, I didn't know the Pocahontas one. My Disney knowledge isn't good because I didn't play enough Kingdom Hearts, Samus. I didn't play enough. <laughs> Stop! I like this game! I'm not avoiding playing the game, Oinimusha. This game is amazing. This, is, this makes me so happy. Everything about it. That was straight out of Nobi Nobi Boy? What the f- what is Nobi Nobi Boy? Wait a minute. Just gotta distribute the snake evenly. Got it. Please don't fall again. Alright. We got this. We're actually gonna go down the slide this time. We're, <laughs> we're so mad! We're so mad about this slide now! Oh, is it just embarrassed? All right, this is the real one. Don't mess it up again. Water country. That was anticlimactic. All right, we got those. Now what's left? Don't you play Monster Hunter? I know that series used to be infamous for its claw control. Oh, the claw control blossom was only for the handheld ones. I think the PSP ones. Hobo would know better than me on that one. 
but uh, the Monster Hunter World for PS4 uses the controller, so it's a lot easier. That's one of the, the big uh, upgrades. There's a lot of stuff that they upgraded um, for that one, but that was what a lot of people were saying was great about it was the controls weren't painful <laughs> on your hands. This name, this game needs the gore setting. It's on PC Fenord, so someone probably has has modded a bunch of weird stuff into it. God knows what. It's probably one where you play as like an earthworm. What's this drum for? Wait, does it show? All right, I need the yellow one. Where actually is it? Can't see. Probably up there somewhere. It's a lot of switches in that direction. A lot, quite a bit going on over there. A secret of some sort? I'm gonna go over here. I bet turning yourself into a pretzel is an achievement. I tried to tie myself into a not age, it wouldn't let me. I did get an achievement for making a bunch of dumb faces though. I felt very accomplished. Disney turned Ka into a villain when he was a hero and a mentor to Mogwai in the original? Really? I didn't, I didn't know that. It probably was easy for them to go with it because a lot of people dislike snakes. Just pretty simple to make them uh, into a villain when people already have a distaste for them. I don't mind snakes. Uh oh. This is just for a coin. I don't want that. I don't care about that. Uh oh. Bleh. No B, no B Boys, a game for PS3 made by the guy who designed Katamari. Really? Pretty much the best snake game? So there's more snake games than Snake Rattle and Roll and Snake Pass. Should I play Katamari? Is that a fun game? Would that be a fun stream game? Bad people tell me that might be a good one. I don't know how to get the yellow one, because I don't see it anywhere. Some swear by the claw, some like me are ambivalent. So you didn't have issues with the control on the other ones that I have <laughs> There probably is, Potato. I don't want to think about that. In this, this innocent and pure game, someone corrupting it. I'm stuck! I'm straight up stuck. I wedged my head under the drum and I can't get out. There we go. Jesus. Uh. You want a photorealistic snake with horrible death sequences? <laughs> Why? Why would you play a cute game like this and want it just to be gore and pain? There's so many other games for that. I might recommend the Soulsborne series. Keep the keep the delightful games cute and delightful. Man, I wish I could see higher. I need a boost. I wish Bird Friend could just pick me up and show me where this yellow one is. I guess I do have to go over that way. You had a snake nightmare recently? Really? What was it? You know how Ka hypnotized Mowgli in the Disney version? Yeah, I remember that being a really weird and uncomfortable scene. He was the only one immune to Ka's hypnotism because he was human? And they changed that. Disney kind of do what they want. What is up with the terrain over there? Like that patch of grass that's just kind of at a diagonal. It's, it's like that's something. So I'm looking for a yellow cube. Usually there's a big stinking like beacon over it indicating where it is and I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, let's go that way. Can I turn up the sound effects? They're amazing. Oh no, they're maxed out. 
The snake sounds are so good. Whoa. Whoa. Don't lose your way. It's pretty damn fun, but try it before you buy it. Oh, uh, Katamari? What's the best Katamari? Are the PS3 ones any good? Because this would be the easiest for me to play. It's harder for me to get- Oh, Jesus. It's harder for me to get a PS2 up and running. You gotta use an emulator. That's gonna suck. So I gotta not drop. You're missing all the collectibles. Age, there's like 800 collectibles. <laughs> I have no. I don't. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time to collect. Uh, five. Twenty bubbles, five coins, and three gem things. <laughs> How's it going, Hercina? Is the snake solid? No. He's, he's more liquid. He, he's kind of noodly. His name's Noodle. This is, his official name is Noodle. So my, my title may be slight false advertising. Just a little. No! <sighs> I've only played the first. That's okay. I'll look into I'll look into the other ones. It's just nice to have kind of cute and fun games to break up the, the dark and depressing difficult games. All right. All right, this is getting this is getting to be <laughs> an issue. Herxena, how's it going? That, wait, I just said hi to Herxena, didn't I? I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my shit. I'm reading the chat like twice. This game, this game is causing me to go insane. You're doing good, good to hear, good to hear. I was having a nice chill time until this game started getting difficult. <laughs> My hand hurts from holding the move forward button. It's a little awkward to be on the R2 to move forward because you have to constantly hold it. I feel like it should be forward on the, uh, the analog stick. Actually, that's on the easy controls. I don't know why. There's easy controls and hard controls oh, other than pain. Gross! Gross! <laughs> Grow arms and legs for easy mode. <laughs> I wish I could. I'd basically be a lizard then. Be a whole different game. Fate Grand Order has launched its beach episode full of female servants in swimsuits. Every anime has to have a gratuitous beach episode with questionably underage anime chicks. <laughs> the noodle brain is real. Honestly, streaming in general, like, and, and people who, there's a few of you guys who stream here can probably uh, attest to it. Streaming in general kind of gives you noodle brain because your attention is so split between the game and the chat unless chat's completely dead. So that's my excuse. It's, it's stream noodle brain and noodle noodle brain. Help me burb! No! Whoa. I almost had it. That corner was was tricky. Oh, it's a mobile game? Then why why'd you say episode? Is that just the name for the updates? I know Fate Fate Stay Night is an anime, right? Was the anime based on the game or was the game based on the anime? Alright, my fingies are hurting. I gotta, I gotta. Oh my god. This is an endurance test. <laughs> it's a franchise onto itself, but what did it start with? Oh, it's an anime that is based. What? It's, it's based on an anime that's based on a game. Okay, so Fate Stay Night is the anime, and the anime was based on a game? A different game? Oh my goodness. Why can't I curl? I'm losing my momentum. Wait, it's because I don't have the happy face. There we go, now we got it. Now stop looking so depressed. It was a visual novel, so I was totally wrong. Alright, bird? Bird, you can help me. This is teamwork here. We gotta intertwine. Yep. Whoa! No! <laughs> Wait, no, 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 I had it! Why is this 
so difficult. It is difficult. It's a little difficult. I was warned. I just want to play the bongos. I don't, I don't want anything to do with this obstacle course of torture that was designed for me. Just because I'm a snake. I'm not about this life. Whoa! I'm stuck! Whoa! Wait, no, I missed the little knob on the end! And plummeted. Snake! Snake! Thank god you just don't die when you miss. Can't you just plow straight over? and uh, I can try. Usually not. Let's try. Oh shit, what up? Nope, nope, nope. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> I feel like I'm driving a car with bald tires on ice. But it happens to be a snake. Instead of the Scissor 67 meme, it's bongos? I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Let's, let's try to just go super fast. I need momentum. That's the problem. We didn't have enough momentum. No, you can't do it that way, I think. I think you get stuck. Oh, you need the, the bird to help. Wait, no, I gotta wiggle. There we go. Teamwork. Okay. Can you grab your tail and roll like a wheel? <laughs> Just become, uh, become an Urberos. Evolve into an Urberos. Yeah, I don't know how that worked. But we did it, we went fast. Just gotta go fast. Tips from age, pro tips from age, gotta go fast. You can almost pretzel yourself up if you have the bird hold you. Whoa. Time to immediately fall, yup, 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 yup. How do I even do that area? Driving a car on ice ball tires sounds like fun. <laughs> Not so much. Not so much. I actually did that. I did that uh, when I had my really old Geo Prism. It did, was not was not all wheel drive and was not really good in the winter. All right, we're doing it. Help, help me, bird. Thank you. No way. You really just gotta be. You gotta freaking dart. I've been stuck at this thing for like 20 minutes. Is there blue snake skin? I don't think you get any skins. I think you're stuck being an orange noodle. Danger noodle. Is this a coral snake? What's the pattern? There's a, a certain pattern that's a really dangerous snake and then there's one that's not poisonous. And I can't remember which is which. But I think it's orange and... Why did that work the first time and then never again? I'm so confused. I don't think actual snakes make dua. <laughs> Maybe they do in their snake language. Maybe this is actually Dua, but we just can't understand it. I can't do it anymore. Why? Why? Dua. Fuck. Red touches yellow will kill a fellow. Red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. Well, I think we're okay. I think we're orange. No burb. Is the burb weighing us down? All right, let's try without the burb. Now I need the burb. There. No! Hmm. That's my face now. Is this the end of the run? It was good. Snake Pass was a fun game. So we got to this one bridge that is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Maybe the grip? The grip. Alright, we gripping. Oh, oh, gross! Gross! Fuck, fuck. Are you sure this isn't Metal Gear? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty tactical and the controls are pretty clunky. But it's a lot cuter. I'm gonna try to zigzag. There we go. 
It's gotta be a, a more efficient way of doing this. Look at this, wow. That's all we needed to do. We just needed to zigzag. Time to immediately drop. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. No way. Thank you for gifting the sub to Soul Dark. Thank you so much. It's very nice of you. He's been being sub Santa lately. Soul Dark, enjoy your shrimp as funny moon. Welcome back to the Prawn Stars. Courtesy of Noel. Head needs to be at a 56 degree angle approximation. <laughs> Are you sure you're using a, a base snake? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a base snake, all right. Ba, 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 ba. That's your speech. Very good speech. I feel like you gotta thank God. That's what people do in speeches, is they always, they always thank God and their family. At every award show ever. I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank my family. I know, why did the going fast? <laughs> it worked that one time and then it never worked again. <laughs> we got debated into thinking that was the strat, but I think this is the strat. We just kind of weave. Oh, wait, no. Bird, help, help. I'm too fat. Hoist. Thank you. This is actually challenging. I wasn't expecting it to be challenging. But the physics that make it make it a little, a little challenging sometimes. Alright, we gotta use these to support ourselves. Yeah, take it slow. Noodle physics! No noodle physics! Help! No, go up, go up! No! No! at it. When got your high school graduation, thanked his parents for having sex and producing him. That's creative. A little awkward, but, uh, but creative. You told me, Fenor, that I didn't believe you. <laughs> I didn't believe you at all. Because it just looks like this, this cute children's game. That bird just flew the fuck away. I don't know where he went. He just took off. Oh, there he is. Um, it looks like this adorable children's game, and it's very, very cutesy, and... It's very nice, calm music and art, and then it's just, just fucking god awful, god awful physics. <laughs> it's fun though. As annoying as it can be, it's fun. It's still fun. Like I'm not super frustrated. I just uh, wish I had better control. But that's the game. Oh shit! We just gotta go fast. No, my grip. No, my oh! I really don't know what to do on that side. This is the Dark Souls of Snake Games. 100%. Oh my goodness, did you try climbing? I'm trying, Age! I'm trying! There we go. Can you cheese off the tree? I don't know, I can try. I'll try anything at this point. That tree? Mm, I don't think I can reach that distance, it's too far. Yeah, Blossom was saying earlier, H, that it's the same composer. I think Donkey Kong Country? Until I get up the top here and then realize it wasn't even the right thing I needed to do. Fucking. Oh my lord. I'm stuck. Look at how far the tree is, though, Age. I don't think I can grip it. I can try. I think the tree's too wide for him to wrap around. Usually the things you can climb have uh, pulls off them. Help me, bird. You're my only hope. Yeah, I can't even get up there. Mm. 
me if I go this. Oh no! 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 Bye. I tried. <laughs> I tried. This would be perfect for the Switch. I, I feel like people say that about every game now, though. Just because the Switch is in dire need of games. Like, wow, I wish this game was on the Switch. Man! This really is, is, uh, tricky. I kind of am shuddering to think how much more difficult it's going to get. Because this is only about, uh, six levels in? Yeah, this is the sixth level. <laughs> It's not too far in. <laughs> it's already on Switch. Well, that's good then. It's probably like $30 on the Switch. Man, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about a first person VR? <laughs> That'd be so puke inducing. <laughs> You're just low to the ground and just like lil lilting around in every direction. Ukulele kind of had mixed reviews. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's fine. What is the tactic? Do I always have to have the bird grip in the tail at the end? I don't get enough air. I'm not going fast enough. You get you get more speed when you're slithering side to side. You can't just go straight ahead and miss the time. Let me try to just slither side to side. I'm pretty sure they made you able to give him this stupid, like, huge grin just so you don't rage quit the game. Because you can't really rage quit the game, even when you fall off cliffs like that if you're just looking at this derpy ass snake. I just can't get enough air. There we go. There we go. Rip! Oh my lord. Was there a controversy with ukulele? So ukulele was the one that had, was it X Rare employees work on it? It was supposed to be kind of a sequel to Banjo Tui? What do you think of the new Tomb Raider video from two days ago? I haven't seen it, Aeon. It shows a lot of crafting? That's not good. Every game's gotta have crafting now, though. It's on the rules. It's on the rules of how to make games. There's no other way. Is there another way up here? This is getting problematic. And, no, okay, we can't pick up the bird the first one. <laughs> this almost makes me want to go get the random collectibles to give my hand a break. Legit hand cramps. How's it going, reinfrenchments? Yeah, the music is, is nice and chill. It's it's keeping the salt levels to a good minimum. The 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 combination of the music and the snakes, big derpy grin, is uh is keeping my my controller safe. But the physics are 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 interesting. I really like how creative it is, though. Definitely give it thought. Whoa. You're almost there, buddy. You can do it. You just gotta believe. You gotta do a chin up. There we go. So this is the part I just can't get past. Can I go around the side, maybe? Let's try to cheese it. Oh. Oh, oh coin! Shit. Oh shit, what up? You want the tail to be more straight by the second pull? I don't know if it's that there's that much precision to it, or if it's just the, like, the dumb physics <laughs> clicking together. You hope after Shadow of the Tomb Raider we get some different style Tomb Raider games? So it's is it Square Enix doing most of them? Or whatever whatever they call themselves now? I was saying that age! I wanted, 
I was like, can I buy a snake sweater? Can I buy some sort of snake cosmetic? But I don't know. Can I get like, can I pop it in a vending machine and buy myself a nice soda? I don't know. I just got coins. I don't even know where I'm storing them. Does he just swallow them? So it swallows them and poops them out later? It's not like he has a wallet. It's like, not like he has pockets. All right, this is the part that's just agony. More agony than agony. Because it's a combination of the grip and the bird. And just perfectly winding yourself in this this hole. No! <laughs> oh! Help, bird! Help! Help me, bird! Help, I'm calling for you! Help! Help, you fucking bird! Help! What are you doing? He's just la He's just taunting me! Help! Help! Alright, we're fine. <laughs> bird! No thanks to bird! Just watching as <laughs> I'm like floundering. Oh, <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Be happy with more Lara Croft games. Wait, so are the new are the Square Enix ones not Lara Croft? Uh, isn't Lara Croft Tomb Raider? Yeah, wet noodle physics. They named him Noodles, so they were aware of it. They were aware of how noodly the physics are. <laughs> so we got a grip real hard here, I think to not fall to our death. All right, all right, doing great. Do, do, doing great. Do I need the bird now, maybe? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna sit here and contemplate for a minute how to do this. Bird, 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 help bird, help bird, help bird, help bird, help, help bird, no! I feel like this this game is uh, is a good exercise in in uh, just just not not raging like in the channeling inner calm and not <laughs> reaching a happy place <laughs> and not fucking <laughs> not throwing things. I don't know how to do that part. Let's take a look at it. It doesn't look that hard. Like, it, it's just, if I can just crawl straight, maybe. Oh, Crystal Dynamics. What else did Crystal Dynamics do? Work for middle of snake for reference and grip center of mass. You can't pick where you grip, though. You just grip with your chin, I think. That's why his, this is the grip face. Like, he hunkers down. It just grips. Specifically an isometric arcadey twin stick shooter? Wow, I never heard of that one. That sounds so different from the other ones, gameplay wise. I didn't realize there were so many different ones. Oh my god, Gex! I forgot about Gex. Gex is basically the lizard version of this game. With better physics. And more shitty out of uh out of date jokes at this point. I liked Gex, though. Gex was fun. Alright, let's try- what worked last time here? Not that. Not that. That didn't work. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't use the bird. Just don't. You want Lara to go back fighting dinos and monsters instead of humans? I feel like something like that would be, uh... We should do like a Turok reboot. Have they done that? Fighting dinos wise. What did I do last time to make it? There we go. Gex gave you the worst motion sickness? The N64 one? I don't remember the camera being that bad. <laughs> you didn't like Gex either, Potato? It was so cheesy. It was like just cheesy, stupid fun. I don't think it was actually a good game, but I had pretty high tolerance for games because I just rented whatever was at the Blockbuster as a kid. I just kind of made do with it. They made Mad Dash Racing a racing game where you run? Just like, like a marathon? <laughs> a marathon running game? 
They did a Turok reboot, it wasn't good. Oh, that's a bummer. I heard the Doom reboot is one of the best as far as kind of rebooting older franchises, but I haven't I haven't played it. It was on sale for like 10 bucks. I was tempted, but I'm not big on FPS. Now I've done it! <laughs> oh no. Oh. Help me. <laughs> Alright, I really don't know how to do this part. Blockbuster. You're sick of games trying to humanize their protagonists? You're not particularly interested in seeing the weakness of Lara Croft? That's true. I mean, not everyone- people usually don't play those games for the story. They play them for the action. Not every game needs an impeccable and interesting story. Sometimes you just want to blow shit up. What was the chameleon one you did? Everything with super long tongue? Uh, chameleon twist, I think? I remember that one. Doom reboot is legit, please get. Is it worth it for sandbox or can I get it for cheaper? Probably get it for cheaper. How do I get, get the, uh, get. All right, all right, all right, all right, grip, grip, just grip. Bird help, bird help. No, no, everything's going wrong. Difficult. Why? Why? You know what I'm gonna do after the stream? I'm gonna go read the Steam reviews of this game and just see people rage about the controls. That sounds like a fun evening. You don't remember this in the new Metal Gear Soxman? The stealth is a little watered down in the newer ones. realism in Lara Croft is they make her have the worst possible day ever? Is that just the plot of the game? Is just everything that could go wrong does go wrong? Can you please troll everyone in <laughs> Metal Gear 2? <laughs> I feel like that would be difficult. Pretty difficult to play. I'd probably have a lot of trouble with it. If you like ripping and tearing, it's totally worth 10 bucks. I do, but I'm not a huge fan of FPS. That's the thing. Why can't he make it? Snake, please. Oh. Uh oh. Now we've done it. I'm doing it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Bird, help! I'm stuck! Gotta just wiggle side to side. No! This is just. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know how to make this easier. I thought this would be a fun chill stream game, and it was for about two hours, and then it then this happened. <laughs> we got to one bridge. That would be our downfall. That worked fine that time. No idea why. This is harder than Metal Gear 2? Metal Gear Solid 2? <laughs> this game is starting to make me squirm. I am immersed in myself being the snake and him kind of hanging in the air like that. <laughs> game is too immersive for Blossom. You also have this dumb grin on your face, because I think that's, that's key for maximum immersion. I'm trying to make myself a new pretzel, but it's not working. Help, oh, bird. I just gotta, gotta twirl. That's all. So difficult. Oh, sound's cutting out. Sound is like you've been playing this level too long. Oh shit, what up, speedrun? No! No! I really don't know what to do there. <laughs> Did you try the rocket pack? I need a rocket pack, I need um, a parachute, I need swimmies. I didn't get the gear. No, no upgrades. They don't know when to stop with the drama. Like, just when everything dies down, she has to run into a bear trip or some other unfortunate event. 
Um, were they? Was Square Enix also behind Life is Strange? Because I feel like that's a lot of what those games are. I haven't played them, but I've watched a bit of them. And it just seems like a bunch of ridiculous events, one after the other, that you gotta navigate around. Or I guess it's it could be similar to like Uncharted and stuff. Snatcher? That's old school. That one might be fun to play, but like stream, I don't know. Did you ever figure out if those collectibles do anything? Nope. <laughs> and it doesn't say. It doesn't say anywhere. I mean, if someone wants to look it up, go for it. I don't really care. I'm not gonna collect them all. I'm just gonna sit here and be a happy snake. This is my life now, since we can't get across here. Whoa. 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 God fucking damn it! Holy shit, this game is hard as fuck! Did you look at the later levels? I can't even get past level 6! Are you looking for like a walkthrough of this part? I'm expecting it to get agonizing. I didn't get enough speed! When you don't get enough speed, you're just screwed. You're just kind of kind of screwed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They don't do anything. The blue ones are supposed to be like easy challenges, and the coins are the hard ones. Yeah, the coins are deceptive. Like, there's some that they look like they would be pretty easy to get, and then when you try it, you just die over and over again. <laughs> you can't find anything? Huh. It's probably just Steam achievements, then. Some people really are into those. Alright, we're just gonna go slow. We're just gonna go slow. Yeah, I know you can change the spacing of the bridge age, but it's not the bridge that I'm on. It's, the, it's this bridge over there. So I did that already. That's just to get that coin. I've just been getting the gems so far. Uh oh. Even just bait, like the basics of just getting up on here is such a struggle. <laughs> like it shouldn't be. You just coil yourself up around it. But it's a combination of like having your head tilting up for just long enough and gripping at just the right time, and having the bird hold you at just the right time. Definitely not not a kid's game. I cannot picture anyone, any child, successfully navigating this game. Help! No, I was so close to doing something! Gotta coil slow and horizontally? What? I can't open the video stage. Like, around? It's hard to do- to coil slowly, I can try it. Part of you really wants to play play this, and part of you wants to burn it in a fire. Same as someone who's been playing it for the same section for like 45 minutes now. <laughs> I it was really delightful. The first two hours were really delightful, and then this part is the part like the launching it into the sun part. I'm guessing the speedrun is just glitching it out somehow. Yeah, original Nintendo games were hard, but I, I just mean more control-wise than anything. I can't picture a kid grasping the controls for this, because there's just so many buttons that you have to press at once. Kids can play a lot of difficult games, as long as I, I feel like the, the control scheme is what's limiting. I don't have enough speed! How do I- how do I go fast? How do I go fast? How did I go fast before? I don't know. The 
This is a kid's game to teach the futility of life. I think a kid would be better off playing Dark Souls than this, honestly. This is just, this is absurd. You can change bridge, the first two poles are slightly closer. I don't even know if it's worth it, I'll try. A lot of it is making the snake stand up and just moving fast like this. Like with his head up in there, like ugh. Cause that seems to be how he moves the fastest. You've seen three to four year olds playing Dark Souls and doing well? How far do they get? Can they get can they beat the bosses and stuff? Oh, I moved it the wrong way. Can I move it the other way? Oh god. Alright, let's go this way. No, it's stuck! It's just stuck! I think. Can't move it anymore! <laughs> it's locked and- Okay, whatever. Yeah, maybe it's better now. I don't know. Whee! Gotta go fast. Oh, oh, that one. <laughs> just jammed his poor chin onto that rock. Yeah, it was just a little bit closer. I don't know if it does much. We'll find out. It's the second part that's the real bitch. I just noticed that when... Never mind. It looked it looked like he was freaking struggling when I lifted his head up, but it was just the lighting. Yeah, this, this isn't that much better. <laughs> Bird is just... He just refuses. I think it's when my tail's in the water. He doesn't want to... No. You hear a thunder? You get a storm in the desert. Ooh. You guys get like heat lightning or you get you get uh downpours. I would think there wouldn't be a ton of a ton of rainfall. Can a snake get a concussion? I mean it has a brain, it has a skull. Those are the two things you need for a concussion, right? That, that's a weird Google search. If anyone wants to go on an adventure, can snakes get concussions? Concussions <laughs> Help bird. Help me. Ah. Oh. Alright, it's about the side to side wiggling. Deserts get rain rarely, but when it comes, it fucking comes! It's like, uh. Almost like tropical storms? I know, uh. One of my Brazilian co-workers is always kind of lamenting that we don't get thunderstorms here like she gets in in Brazil, the big like tropical thunderstorms that just come in like torrential downpours. What if you tap grip? I don't know. It does this. Just kind of makes them look serious. Why is that something that's suggested is tapping it? Your home city has a massive network of drainage ditches to handle the waters. It's good to have just in case. So you don't want to get flooded out that one time you do need them. And the the thing that I don't get age is the uh, horizontal coiling. Like I, I know that that's what I need to do, but like I don't know how to do it. Oh, gripping. I mean, even with, with the gripping, it's like how do you coil horizontally? You release the grip? Let me try to figure out how to horizontal coil here. Mm. Can't. I just can't. Because that's what gives you the stability. There we go. Oh my goodness, we're doing it! Liquid are doing it! Fuck! Oh shit, what up? No! No! <laughs> Damn it! I had hope. I had hope and then it just was promptly uh, splashed back down into the water. I had it though for a second. Just a second. 
thank you guys for hanging out for this quality entertainment this evening. I hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this uh, this this snippet of Snake Pass for the past hour, being stuck in the same area on the same bridge. I feel like it's a good demo of the game. You did find a Reddit post on Ask Science. Can insects get concussions? And the short answer is no. I feel like if you tried to give um, a, a, an insect a concussion, you would just straight kill it because it's so tiny. How would you even tell if a snake had a concussion? Would it just slither like cricket? I'm not gonna play Metal Gear Solid. Fuck that. It's almost 10 o'clock. Playing. I'm playing this game. This is the game that I have chosen. Deal with it. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason they wouldn't get concussions. Here's the special move! <laughs> it, gives, it gives an extra grip. Alright, how do we... I had it. I had the freaking sideways coil and then I lost it. So difficult. There we go. There we go. And it's lost. Wait. Salvaged. Wait, I can't see. Well, where am I? Oh, no. Well. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, we're fine. That was confusing. Play Snake Pass 2. I'm, I'm sure that's a thing. This game was such a such a smash hit. At events, you gotta go to the concussion stand. <laughs> I feel like I have a concussion at the moment. I feel like my brain has been liquefied. Is this gonna be one of those ones I gotta beat off stream? I'm gonna beat this damn game. This game is not gonna beat me. I'm determined. Do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Why is this game so cute? I, I really, I can't hate it. Just because, just out of the virtue that it's so cute. This is where we need the mods to make everything ugly. Whenever there's real in that thunder, you always get nervous. You know, you're safe in your house, but... I feel like, um... Just thunderstorms are always scary, kind of in general. I was pretty scared of them as a kid myself, but they're kind of cool. You can watch them from a safe dis distance. It's just, it's startling if they're in the middle of the night and you're sleeping or something, you wake up, it's, it's confusing. When you got a good hang position, go limp. Oh, it's good. Age, please. <laughs> please, stop talking about your noodle on stream. We're going fast. We're doing it. Okay, okay. It didn't work. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is a legit strat. Is there a legit strat to this game? Other than just praying you got the physics down. Alright, we're going so fast. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the run. I'm actually kind of getting flashbacks to Shadow of the Colossus when I kept trying to make the same jump over and over again. Over that pool of water. Alright, here we go. This is looking good. Nope. Oh my god. Alright, I think I gotta stop for the evening. I think this is where we stop. Because I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna get it! I don't know how to! I, d I really... I don't know how to do this. Damn it! I wanna play... I wanna beat the 
this game. I want to play more of this game. I just don't know how to get past this part. And it's going to get more difficult as it goes on. That's the scary bit. That this is still early on. No, you can't 1cc at age. Actually, I would pay money to watch you try to play this. Because it's... It's difficult. <laughs> like, it looks so easy. But it is not. You get to juggle like eight buttons at once. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Probably won't stream this again. I really liked this game. Until this one part that we got to. Um, and I don't think I can get past it. And I don't know if I can... I just don't know. But this is a very cute game. I would recommend this if people want to play a game that's very cute and also makes you want to punch things at the same time. Um, I'm gonna be back Sunday with something. I don't know what. I'll probably play this offline and if I get past this part maybe I'll stream more of it, but I don't want to be streaming this this little bit anymore cuz we've already we've already seen pretty much everything there is to see in this part. <laughs> um, but I'll be back Sunday. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. I'm going to find someone to host. Um, let's see. Let's see. Who is streaming? Hmm. Do 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 do. Um, I am going to host I'll host Tom. Tom is playing Gothic. He's cool. I host him a lot. You guys probably know who he is already, but <laughs> I'm gonna host Tom. I'll be back Sunday. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching Solid Snake Action, and I'll catch you later.